We're gonna read it to you today, sis. Our history is in the Bible. Right. Let's prove it. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Let's get it real quick. Come on. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, the verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring you, shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So Moses is speaking to the children of Israel. You remember that history? He came. Moses received the laws from Mount Sinai and gave it to the children of Israel. He showed us the blessings for keeping God's laws, and he showed us the curses for keeping God's laws. One of the curses is, if we went against our Heavenly Father, we would go back into Egypt by way of ship. Now, my brother Gabriel, when we first went into Egypt, did we walk into Egypt, or did we come by ships into Egypt? Exodus 22. Did we walk into Egypt? We walked into Egypt with our forefather Joseph, right? But God is saying this time when we go into Egypt, it's going to be by way of ship. Now we got to figure out what that Egypt is speaking about. Is it where Ramses and King Tut were? Or is God referring to something totally different? Let's find out. Read what you Book of Esther, chapter 20, the verse 2. Read. I am the Lord thy God, which has brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Now, remember, the Lord brought us out of the land of Egypt. The first round. Let's go. Out of the house of bondage. Egypt is synonymous for bondage. Right. That's what God is referring to. Not the physical spot known with the sand and the pyramids, but into captivity again. Via cargo slave ships. Thea from Elmina Castle on the coast of here out in Ghana. Read on. Come on. Back. Read. Look up the Deuteronomy chapter 28, the verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way of I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Stop. I want you to explain that whole ship thing for the listeners on standby. Say the same thing. I say, the Lord say, the Lord of God, I say, but this time children of Israel. Okay, we understand now. So now, you understand that it was all people that went by way of ships, as the good Lord has described. I also want the yokes. But we're going to finish reading this verse, and I'm going to show you something else. Let's go. By the way, I speak unto you. The same way that I'm telling you, Israel, that it's going to happen. Come on. Thou shalt see it no more again. You would not see what again? You would not see your homeland again. You would not see Jerusalem again. You would not see Egypt again. Right. That area known as Egypt here in Africa. Come on, let's go. And then ye shall be sought unto your enemies for born men and born women. So now, not on top of that, it said we will be sold to our enemies. When we came off the west coast of Africa in Elmina Castle, who picked us up at the coast? Who picked us up at the coastline in Elmina Castle? Did they not look like this? They looked exactly like this. We went into cargo slave ships and were sold from one continent into the Americas with slave chains, yokes of iron upon our neck. Did that not happen? Yes, it did. Read on. Come on. And no man shall buy you. And it says, no man shall redeem us from our current condition of captivity. Nobody came and ran over here from uh, uh, Ghana or Africa to save the diaspora out there in the United States of America and uh, Central, Southern America. Nobody came to rescue us. All right. It said we would be sold to our enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. We were the ones that were sold on slave auction blocks. We were the ones getting our backs beat in, chains and yokes of iron upon our necks. You understand that? But let's prove that. Did you know that the yokes of iron and chains are in the Bible? Did you know that, Gabriel? Let's see what the Bible says. You can put that down. Come on. Book of the chapter 28, the verse 28. Come on, brother Gabriel, you missing? Let's see what the Bible says. Come on. Therefore, shall thou serve thy enemies who 
which the Lord shall send against thee. Now, remember, one nation came to Elmina Castle, gathered all of us up, and took us to a further land. All right, read that again. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28, the verse 48. Uh -huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. Now, we must serve these people that came and got us in hunger. Whenever we were hungry, the enemy that got us, Gabriel, had to feed us. Read on, come on. And in thirst. And in thirst, the water that we want, brothers and sisters. We have to go to our enemy for those things. Read on. And in nakedness. And the clothing, Gabriel. My brother Gabriel, the shirts that we wear. We gotta go get them from the Chinese. Right. They come and push a lot of that in here. Right. A lot of things come via from China to the ports here in Accra. Right. We gotta go to our enemies for those things. You understand? Read on. Come on. And in one of our tests. Education. We gotta go to the enemy. To get to become a minister, you gotta go to your enemy. The enemy teach you white Christ. But we won't find a white image of Christ in the Bible. Bring it out. We got to go to our enemy for everything. A driver's license, you have to go to your enemy. Go. What happens if we drive out here without a driver's license? You're going to get pulled over by the chief. Right. <laughs> You're going to jail, my friend. So we got to serve the enemy in want of all things. Come on. And he, and it says our enemy, my brother Gabriel, come on. Shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Who had yokes of iron upon our necks, Gabriel? Where's the image at? Come, 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 Gabriel, please come close. You got this. Come close. Come, 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 come. We had the yokes. We had the yokes. We, we had the yokes of iron upon our necks. That's what God said would happen to the children of Israel. So even with that, going back to Elmina Castle, your ancestors, your ancestors' sons and daughters would be taken from y'all. Did that not happen? You know what I want. Did that not happen? Not Who came and took the children of Israel from Elmina Castle and took them to the Americas? Our enemies did that. Let's see what the Bible says. Come on. Look up Deuteronomy chapter 28, the verse 32. Read. Thy son and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. My brother Gabriel, did that not happen? Did not the enemy come and take our sons and daughters from Ghana and move them all over the world and sold them for bondmen and bondwomen? Did that happen to the white man? No, it did not happen to the white man. Right. So what is that showing you, my brother Gabriel? The Bible is a true book. That's right. The Bible is the history of your forefathers right. and your foremothers. Right. And the Bible also proves that you're not Ghanaian. That's you are a child. You are the Israelite, according to the Bible. Yes, Thus saith right. the Lord. Finish that out. Come on. And that I shall put to look and fall with longing for them all the day long. So just don't think that it was just kings that were some. Some of your children were taken up in that harem too. A lot of your children were taken away. We're stopping you guys looking and searching for those children off the coast of Africa. Sis, sis, so you understand, Gabriel. You are better than what society says you are, Gabriel. You are the Israelite, according to the Bible. And possibly from the mighty tribe of Judah, yes. Yahuda, yes. that's your mighty tribe that you come from. You won't find Ghanaian in the Bible. Right. You will find Benjamin, Levi, Nathali, Judah, right. Issachar. Right. That's the names you're going to find in the Bible. You won't find Ghanaian in the Bible. Yes. So we got to figure out who we are. Brother, you know you're the greatest thing on the face of this planet? You know that you're God's chosen people? You are an Israelite according to the Bible. Yes. Sis, let me ask you a question. What color is Christ? Yes, you are a color man. Okay, he said Christ is not black, but what you see is what? It's white. Okay, so we are going to do you speak English or you speak Chi? We speak English. All right, very good. So, so sis, what we've been bringing out, don't mind him. What we've been bringing out is the true biblical image, according to the Bible, of what Christ looked like. You go to church? 
Okay. What do they say Christ looked like in church? Yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah, I think I was broke. According to my church, Christ is like the black man. According to the church? Where do, I, where do I go to find that according to your church? Where can I read that at? Yeah, where can I read that at? Okay, well you know what's one good thing, sis? At least you have the understanding that Christ does not look like this. So our job as your brothers is to prove all things and teach you what these pastors won't tell you. Because they're quick to tell you, give me money, money, tie, 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 prosperity. But according to the Bible, they're not supposed to be doing that. They're supposed to teach you who you truly are, my sister. That you're an Israelite according to the Bible and Christ looks just like you. So what we're gonna do is, I want you to open this fire. Brother, 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 brother. What's the brother's name right there, Isaac? What's the brother's name? I want you to show the sister as we read so she can see it for herself, the true image of Jesus the Christ, all right? What's your name, my sister? Mary! I'm loving this, man! Sis, are you hearing this? Come, 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 sis, come on over. Come, come, we don't bite. <laughs> How you doing, my sister? Ariane, -E pleasure to meet you. So what we're gonna go over, sis, is the true image of Christ. Come by your sister Mary and follow along, because we gotta prove what the pastor don't tell us, okay? So, let's read that. Revelation 1.14 again. Let's get it. The book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. My brother in the blue, you hearing this? We're going over what the Bible says Jesus the Christ truly looks like. Come on. His head and his head were white like wool. So sis, it's saying that the hair on Christ's head were white like wool. So you, you remember that. You've heard that before. When you look at our sister next, and I don't want to touch your hair, sis, she has woolly hair. You have woolly hair. So that does not line up. This is wrong. He doesn't have woolly hair, does he? No, he does not. Let's get some more. Come on. As white as snow. It says Christ's hair was as white as snow. Read on. And his eyes as a flame of fire. Now, not only that, my brother said Christ's eyes no. We're like a flame of fire. When you look at this image, he has blue eyes. Right. That's not, that does not match what the Bible says. So we got to figure somebody's lying, Mary. Somebody's lying. But it said Christ's eyes were red because he drank wine in moderation. Okay? The prophecy is that he would come with his eyes red with wine in Genesis 49 and verse 12. But John is going to get more descriptive because I'm looking at my sisters and you guys have your sandals on. Is the color of your feet the same color of your face? The color of your feet, the color of your skin doesn't match your face? Explain to her too. I said, oh now, anyone who's calling me a baco. A baco. It's the same color, yes. Yes, it's the same color. So John is going to explain what Christ looked like. Christ. John is looking at Christ's feet. Let's see what John says. Come on. Verse 15. And his feet like unto fine brass. So John, my sister, said his feet were like unto fine brass. Dick and lava. Dick and lava. Real quick. Come here. That bracelet of brass that you have on your hand, my brother. Can I show the sister that bracelet that you have? Sister, what color is this? This is brass. And John said Christ's feet were like fine brass. But John is going to get very descriptive, okay? If I were to take my deacon's bracelet and put it in a fire, let's see what color it come out. Read what you got. Come on. And his feet like unto fine brass. Uh huh. Hold on, sis. They burn in the fire. So, Sister Mary says his feet were this color as if it burns in a fire. If I were to take this and burn it, what color would it come out? If I would explain to them, if I were to burn this, what color would it come out? If you put this in a fire and burn it, what color is it going to be? No, if you, if, if you, what? If you burn this, what color is it going to be like? Black. Black. That's it. There you go, sister. So what does that show you? Christ was a very black skin man. Christ looked like me and you, sister. Christ does not look like this. And what we're showing our brothers is you, you, and you, and him, and her are the true children of Israel. And that God only came for the Israelites in no other nation. God
nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh!